In this tutorial we're going to create a Photoshop composition, trying to create some interesting effects for our render out of ArchiCAD. So we're going to start with the, the biggest file first, our color file, and we're going to dump the next on top of these. We can zoom out a little bit if we're concerned about the placement. Now they're placing directly on top, which is great because we saved them that way. Going to need to reduce this file size a bit because it doesn't work with this projector's resolution. Right, and in place, so we have to click off place and do this again. Click off place. I'm going to right click rasterize these. With my wire frame, I want to take all of the color out of it. So I'll go to hue saturation, take the saturation all the way down. And I can create a, a duplicate of the background image. So I've got the color one as well. Great. Now we're going to do, use a different method to previous. So in this case, rather than doing a, a watercolor, I'm going to do this as a painting style. I'm going to stretch this so it fits. So let's, before I import that, we're going to increase the size of this uh, just because we don't want to be working at a small image. So just like in the last video of this type, we zoom in and we see that it's quite pixelated. In order to make this less pixelated, I think I couldn't say pixelated last night. Um, I can't remember what I was saying, but it was something a bit crazy. We're going to go to image size and we could do this a few different ways, but we'll start by boosting this up to 300 pixels per inch. So we see that it started at 1.6 megabytes, and we're now looking at um, 29 megabytes. There we go. So it's already a lot cleaner than it was. We don't need to go too big for this. Just a bit of fun. We're going to import this painting, and we'll stretch it out. We don't need to worry about proportion. It's just a bit of fun. And put that over the top. Now just like last time uh, we're going to change this, we're going to change its type. So we're going to look at overlay and if we wanted to we could take the color out of this. Rasterize And I won't take it completely out, uh, but I'll take it mostly out. So we're getting that interesting technique. Now we could limit this just to the houses if we want to and do something different with the grass. So let's just make it real simple. This isn't the best way to do this, but I'll just cut it out. Let's use a different technique for the grass. So here I'm going to find one that's called grass. And we'll import this one here. So we're just using some stock pictures from Unsplash, thanks for that. We want to get rid of um, too much of this information, so to make this really simple, explain what I'm doing, we're just going to grab this same shape. I'll just be rough, I'm not going to worry about being really smooth with this. And turn this back on. Select, I could inverse selection if I wanted to, but let's just go layer, new layer by copy. So we're just keeping the original, turn that one off. There's some issues with how it's representing, but I don't actually want to keep it like this. 
realistically this was just to say multiply and I can reduce that opacity down a bit as well. Now let's do a similar sort of thing with the sky. Use this one. And just like before, we'll use this, but we'll make it a bit simple again, magic wand. So that's selecting all the white area. Rasterize. Layer, new layer by copy. Now it's all looking way too normal. So uh, this, it's not necessarily like I want it to be. But that's all right, we'll get there eventually. Now I'll save this. Let's go save as. And we'll save this as a PSD for now. And we'll call this front, render front. Now again, just just because I want to be fast, I'm just going to make this really simple. And um, again, this isn't the optimal way. I'll, I'll do it better next time. But for now, let's just grab something else that's fun. Grab this grungy texture. And then we'll just lighten this up a bit. There we go. So we went from something that's look, looking way too real to now something again that's looking uh, more believable. Now that I'll go one step further, let's rasterize this, and I will just slightly with my um, eraser just slightly brush away from the houses themselves so we get just a little bit more of that bleeding through and I'll make the foreground just a bit brighter as well so it's shadowing in the background but this one's a bit brighter. Great, so that's our technique.